Hi everybody and welcome to my round of 32 match in the 2019 Dominion Online Championship. I am playing against Sam E, who is a, who is a, a really good player. So um, this is gonna be a tough, a tough match to be sure. Okay. Um, so what do we have here? We've got um, Torture and Lost Arts, um, which is uh, well, there's Guardian. Um, which I guess we can open like um, silver red catcher or double silver. The three four would be kind of nice, and we could open guardian into vampire, but we don't have that. So um. Um, we wanna get like vampires and then I guess maybe tragic heroes um, do something with them let's open silver here and um, Uh, I guess. I mean, we would really like to hit five on the shuffle, right? Um, so let's go double silver. Okay, nice. There's um, there's the first five, which is gonna be a vampire. <coughs> um, goes for the same opening. And this can be a red catcher. Um. <laughs> yeah, and I guess we want to do some tragic hero thing. Um, maybe with fool's gold. Um, you can also keep your tragic heroes alive by playing Hamlets, um, but you might also want to pop them. Um, yeah, let's get a let's get a red catcher here. One should be enough. The the bat will also trash. Um, I think second vampire is nice. Um, yeah, here actually. Guess we don't want to trash because we hit five. Um, we receive miserable, which is all right. Oh, he goes for the torturous. Okay. Um, which means we want to get guardians out. Um, but don't need it now. Um, let's go for a tragic hero and gain one of this vampire. And here we can buy a guardian. And um, call our red catcher to trash an estate. And yeah, let's let's get a guardian here. The tragic heroes miss, um, but it's all right. Just gain more of them. Um, yeah, well, we also wanna put lost arts on them at some point soon, right? If we we're gonna gain them um, so liberally. Um, yeah, let's get another guardian. Um, famine um, didn't really do anything here. Let's 
So, so well, we should be able to hit six here. And we do well, but we can't. Well, I guess. Um, I guess we wait another turn to put the lost arts out because um, we want to use this bat to trash. Um, could be like um, Hamlet Guardian. Um, he's got a torturer in this hand, I think. So we really want to want to have this guardian out. Deluded um, is nice for us. And here, um, not sure, we've got one estate left, I think. So there's like a silver in there and an estate, so and a guardian I think um should be able to hit six here. Um, yeah, okay, and now we can put the lost arts on our tragic heroes. <coughs> Think we want to call the red catcher here. Well, there's a hamlet down there, um, but we also might want to pop one of these uh, tragic heroes. Um, so, fool's gold could be a thing that we want to go for. Um, Could also, of course, go with regular golds, but um, well, if you have lots of fool's golds, they are better, more efficient. So he's really going for the torturer stack. Yeah. Um, so do we want to keep this guardian? We've got three in our deck right now. Um, Let's keep it for now, but we can so I guess we want to discard, keep one of these heroes. Um, fit this card to we'll have four cards. And draw up to seven after playing one of the heroes, so can keep him. There's also another hero down there. Um, and this one we can pop. So do we want to go for the fool's gold? I think yes. Um, or do would we prefer regular gold? We can get lots of fool's golds, and when we have four fool's gold. They will be worth eleven. Um, no, 13, so one more than four golds. Um, yeah, let's just go for it. And here, um, it'd be nice to have six. 
to buy like two full skulls in a hamlet maybe. Maybe that's a little greedy. But we've got lots of tragic heroes. <coughs> um, so it should be all fine. Um, just have to. We have to keep the guardians up at all times, um, else it will be trouble for us. This torturous deck. Where's another vampire? He's got lots of vampires. Um, got three. And he's going for the tragic heroes as well now. Okay, here we don't want to call the rat catcher. Um, I think we want to keep this hero. Um, it's down here. I think one more hero. Also, fool's gold. Um, let's pop this one. And also this one, I guess. And don't trigger the shuffle here. Um, so, just more heroes, I think. This can be three tragic heroes. And we might even have like a pileout on full scolds heroes and estates coming up. Yeah, right. That should be doable. Um, just pop all the heroes, gain full skulls with them, and then we should have enough buys um, uh, to buy out the estates. So let's see what he does here. Um, really curious that he went for the torturous stack because, well, maybe he, maybe he was worried that the tragic heroes were gonna disappear or something, and that made him choose the torturous over them. Not sure. Yeah, so let's pop all these heroes um, for fool's goals. And this should be enough, right? Well, easily. To pile out the estates. Okay. Nice. So we take the first one. It was also a rather quick game. And we started this game. So Sammy is gonna. First player in the next one. All right, so this looks pretty interesting. 
um, there's knights, there's recruiter, silos, um, not so attractive with only five coppers in our deck because there's haunted mirror and pouch. Um, there's remake. Um, shelters uh, are a bit sad for remake. Oh, you can remake into embargoes or trackers, but it's not great. So, do we want to open remake at all? Is the question. Um, I alternatively, you could go like double silver, but I think we do. Well, I mean, there's recruiter, there's also counterfeit. Mm. You can also always remake coppers and stuff. So let's let's take one. And the silver um, on our three, he does the same. Um, this is gonna be another silver. So, yeah, I guess you wanna like trash down and then get some knights because um, I think they can really hurt here. Also, the knight on top uh, is kind of okay. The, the mode, mode knight, well, not really mode, but you draw two cards. Um, also, ghosting a knight. Uh, could be strong. So here, um, here we're gonna trash. I think. The overgrown estate, we can trash it into an embargo to have like a one shot silver. Well, it could also be a tracker because tracker is pretty nice. Um, could of course also remake this silver into a cemetery uh, and trash this, these three coppers. I think I like that. And then if we collide the remake with the cemetery, we can remake into a five cost. So do we want a tracker? I think we do. The top decking is pretty nice if we get to play it. So let's see what the tracker does for us here. Um, that's okay. And another silver. Oh yeah, let's top deck this so we don't trigger the shuffle. And then we can buy a recruiter and put it into our shuffle. Um, from the river's gift, I mean. And we can also remake on top of all of this, so um, that's a pretty nice turn for us. He also bought a recruiter just now. Um. So 
guess another tracker. Um, well, like if it would be embargo or estate, it would probably be recruiter food. We can also just feed our second tracker to the recruiter if you want to do so. So we are a bit thinner right now. Here I think we wanna remake the cemetery into like a sardestry. Don't think we need a counterfeit now. Um, we've almost gotten rid of our coppers. Um, play the recruiter first, see what we draw up and recruit something. Let's see, is he gonna hit 5 here? Unless he's got like 2 silvers in, in these 2 cards. Oh, he does. And he still gets the counterfeit. Also gets to top deck it. Okay, so... Well, actually... So so probably we don't remake the cemetery here, just um, recruit the pouch, don't really need that buy right now, and play the tracker and then we can top deck a third death tree and remake the cemetery later. That's nice, but um, well, I guess can remake one of these silvers into a remake, and then on a later turn remake the remake into a five. That's all right. Top deck this. Uh, this can be a remake. I don't want to top deck that. And another remake. Just so we have remake food. Oh, there's also almost forgot about Haunted Mirror. So we wanna. Get that soon as well. Um, of course, we don't want to like go to remake, but anyway, um, we flipped up Dame Josephine, which is a oh, pretty bad night. Um, that's good for us because maybe he wants to take that now. Yeah, and we've got a better knight, and even better knight here um, turned over for us. Um, let's play a death tree first. Trash the counterfeit, yeah, that, that hurts a lot. Um, here... Could get a ghost, but... I think we want that Sir Bailey. Um, can get the ghost later. Also top deck that guy. Yeah, the cantrip knight is pretty nice also. So we don't have to use up any villagers or stuff like that. Also, he um, gains his ghost here.
Dame Natalie is also nice because she can gain silvers for us. Um, so we want villagers here, so let's trash the silver. Um, place her destry. And here we can gain, well, we could gain one knight and a ghost. Um, let's see what this turns up. I think I like gaining the ghost now. This is a not so ideal draw. Now maybe the trackers can do something for us. Um, okay. Let's see what the second one does. Oh, that's also okay. Do we wanna top deck that? I don't think so. We wanna draw this up so it can't be hit by knights. Mm. Might actually guess we could guess we could take the defile shrine here. Maybe that's a mistake, but gonna go for it. And another remake. Do I have remake food? Uh, we don't wanna top deck it. This also not. <coughs> okay, so we've got two remakes in here. Um, got to think about that when we want to play our ghost. We don't wanna ghost the remake. That would be a sad beginning of our turn. Then Josephine gets rid of one of those remakes. That's all right for us. And let's see. Oh, Molly was in, in those gains. Two knights here, I guess. Uh, which means he has four now. We have three. So let's begin with Sir Bailey. Josephine is gonna go here probably. Um, the crooner now. Um, let's get rid of this curse. There's a knight down here that we can ghost. We can remake one of those remakes into Dame Anna. Oh, Michael is nice. Mm, the tracker into silver. And here, let's gain a silver. Oh, I. Yeah, I didn't track correctly there. Um, there was no knight to go down there. Okay, so um, let's discard these two so our list can pick them up. And top deck this. Here, um, here we can gain a silver, I guess, and draw up the copper and the silver. 
and then remake one of the silvers into Sir Martin, and then the Night War is pretty much... Well, it's not over, but then we've got two knights each. Um, he's got the Militia Knight, which, which is pretty nice, but Dame Natalie is also good, I think, just to gain, gain silvers. Get that stuff into our deck. Yeah, this uh, doesn't matter, but let's top deck here. And remake here. Um, we don't want to top deck that now. Yeah, and this is just another silver, I guess. So from here on out, well, what's there to do? Play money, pretty much. We don't need the remake here, I think. Also not the Necropolis. Yeah, Sir Martin can go here. So his Sir Michael is gone. Um, yeah, we trash silver over Recruiter, right? Oh, do we really need the recruiter at this point? Hmm. I guess we can regain the silver, not the recruiter so easily. Can regain the silver of Dame Natalie. Well, um, goes the necropolis, which doesn't do a whole lot for him. That was a nice wisp. Um, nope. Don't wanna do that. So here, I mean, do we actually? Want to ghost our recruiter? I don't think so. Um, right? Don't think so. So we are just not gonna play the ghost. Oh, there was also. <laughs> there was also the remake still in there. That could have been real fail ghost. Oh, well now he's gone. We don't have to think about ghosting stuff anymore. We can't. But that's also alright, like... Apart from ghosting a knight, there's not so much to do for ghost here. A ghosting tracker is also okay-ish. But we can do without the ghost. <laughs> I'm pretty happy that we ended up with um, Dame Natalie and he with Sir Vander because Dame Natalie can gain us silvers on every play um, apart from attacking and his Sir Vander he only attacks and um, well will only get turned into gold when trashed so our knight is better at the moment. An upgrade is also something that we could think about. I don't know. I think we can get rid of this necropolis now. Um, well, we could also recruit the remake. It's not doing a whole lot for us anymore. Like, what one, what would we want to remake stuff into? 
only got silvers, but there's no nice fours. Let's get rid of it. See what the tracker does. Yeah, we can. Oh, well, actually, I do not want to top deck it. I want it in my deck just as night protection. Um. And for five. Well, what do we even want? Land of Misfits, what does it do? Not a whole lot. Counterfeit, doesn't do too much either. Upgrade. Guess we could turn our recruiter into a gold or something. All not really inspiring. Counterfeit is alright, maybe. Second buy. But I doubt we are gonna use it. Hmm. Let's get a counterfeit. I mean, we can gain silvers with Natalie and counterfeit them. So that worked out nicely. Our cheap cards uh, protected us from Sylvander. Um, that boon is not really helpful. I um, guess we don't want to counterfeit here, just buy gold. Um, I guess we can top deck this, so can't be hit by his knight. Yeah, so... Basically, just stuff money into our deck and then green at some some point. We've also got the uh, 8vp lead from the Defiled Shrine by earlier, which is also pretty nice for us. Ah, oh, there goes the counterfeit. Goodbye. It's not like it did a whole lot for us. I guess it would be nice to hit his ghost. Oh, goes for the Mandarin. That's not a buy that you see often, but it could be good here. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, it's nice to set up your ghost, right? Um, so another reason for me to wanna hit. His ghost. Oh, that was not a ghost. Um, I don't think we want to play the recruiter here just by a province. And don't top deck it naturally. Upgrades to Mandarin, okay, so he's not welcome anymore. He's a gold now. 
Non-terminal gold. So yeah, I'm fine with just single provincing now. Whenever we, whenever we can, play M Natalie for silvers. He upgraded his Zerbander for the double gold gain. That's neat. There's a gold on top. Oh, we do have, we do miss province here, which is a bit sad, but it's all right. Um. Some point an upgrade could be nice. Really don't need this recruiter anymore. Also upgrading silvers into cemeteries could be a thing at some point. Do we want a counterfeit? No. Just another gold. We are fine not buying green this turn, he also didn't, and we've got the VP lead. So there's a province on top. Let's top deck the Wisp. So do we want do we want to play the recruiter to remove the province? Then we can just recruit the wisp. It costs us a villager, but it's not like we need them. I think that's alright. Okay, this is nice. Um, maybe we don't even want to play on. Oh, he has to trash a gold here to the upgrade, so... Um, yeah, this could turn out bad, actually. Um, because if he hits province here, you're dead. Um, yeah, because we missed. So, what do we do here? There's not a whole lot we can do to stop it. Is there? Um, we just have to. Hope he misses. So do we wanna... Buying a duchy doesn't help us. Mm. So what do we trash here? Silver maybe? I mean, the tracker could give us some helpful boon, um, like the dungeon boon. I think there's, like maybe there could be, well, I haven't tracked too well, but there's a gold down here, right? So let's trash Dame Natalie and hope we get the, I think the wind's gift it's called. Um, that's not the wind's gift, but we can buy Dutchy Curse. 
that's 4 VP and then he can finish with province. Okay, that's pretty good as well. Uh, we don't want to top deck this stuff. Okay, that was good. Forest gift was good there. Um, well, he does have the pouch still, I think. So he has a buy, but he'd need to hit 10 for province and estate now. Not sure that's easy for him because doesn't have draw, right? There's the pouch. And here, so we just need to draw to buy a province here. Let's hope the recruiter does that for us. Nope. Not a province. So we just buy a duchy. Oh man, that's seven again. Okay, so this one goes to him. It was um, a little bit unfortunate towards the end, I guess. Um, we were looking pretty good, but didn't manage to buy the last province, unfortunately. Okay. There's Captain here, but um, only Moneylender and Remake as targets. If I try again, well, Trader is also a target. Um, yeah, so you can't get actions here at all. As Labyrinth. Um, There's vampire, but what do you gain with with it? Silvers or hmm. this is not the most exciting board, I would say. So do we open remake silver and then play money? This is like a, just a dull board. There's nothing going on here. Or do we want like something else? Like um, ideally it would be opening six, but that's not possible. So like opening a captain and then you can use all these treasures. Um, just as you like. Remake silver. Kinda sucks, but what else are you gonna do? Uh, you remake stuff, maybe get a hunting grounds to draw, and then just single province. Uh. Maybe one vampire is okay. I mean, it gains you silvers and it hexes. He goes for the trader, um, which is also nice, of course, so putting silvers into your deck. This is um, Pretty all right draw for us. We even want one vampire. Do we want the cargo ship now? No, thank you. Uh, 
and hunting grounds eventually. Yeah, here. You can buy hunting grounds. I mean, it could still be a captain, maybe. I think one captain's alright. For either trader, remake, money lender, or well, it can even be a mode at the start of your turn or in between. So let's get a captain. Um, the remake misses. And maybe gold or hunting grounds on the gold, I think. Do we want to go for the Defy Shrine again? Uh, like what do we do here? Trash two coppers by a silver? Why not, I guess? Here we can Captain this money lender by gold. That's all right. Top decking two covers. That's all right. Could also buy hunting grounds. Let's do that. Um, okay, so what do you, what do you, do you want to do on this hand? Like, could play the captain as remake. And remake, remake into a vampire, remake a copper, like getting rid of the remake now um, with the hunting grounds in our deck. Um, Do we want to file shrine? I think it's okay now. Here I just we just province. It's just province here. There's a hunting grounds down here that we can play. Next turn, might also be able at some point to play our captain as trader on something expensive and stuff lots of silvers into our deck.
buy the gold, let's buy a province. Here we're gonna hit 8 again probably. It'd be nice to draw the vampire on top of this. So what does this captain wanna be? Um, could be money lender. What's down here? Let's think for a second. Um, so we've seen three silvers, copper, hunting grounds. We haven't seen our gold. Right, so if we play the captain as a mode, we should drop the gold, have enough for a province. And this can be a duchy. Oh, envious hurts. So I guess mode and hope to draw up to 8. There's even the hunting grounds. Do we want to play it? Um, I mean there's some green stuff left there. Would also be nice to like, draw the bed. Get back to this captain and hunting grounds. Oh, that was a... Next hand is gonna suck. Well, it's not even that bad. He resigns, okay. Um, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, this is gonna be his start again. We're up to one. That's good. Let's hope to make it three one. Then we it'd be in a really nice position. Um, this has been pretty quick so far, one hour for three games. If you think back on the round of 64 match that I played, um, <laughs> I think we had gotten one game down uh, more or less in, in this amount of time, so moving faster today. But this last board was also like just dull. There was like nothing to do, pretty much. Oh, sorry, I to rehouse this um, ok 
Okay, Sam is gonna go first, and now everything seems to be in order. Okay, so what's this? Um, there's no actions, there's gold, which is always nice. It's gladiator, there's mill. Well, there's petition for actions. There's also outpost. Um, there's like. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. This is like some gladiator money thing again, possibly. Hmm. Is outpost any good? If you play with Tactician. Could have a good outpost turn, but your payload is money, so that does not mix too well. Guess you could uh, use mills for payload. Does sound a bit awkward, but hmm. does sound pretty awkward. <coughs> Maybe it's nice to have the yeah, post times. So we want a gladiator. To open gladiator mill. What's the alternative? Pixie or some stuff. So the problem with the tactician outpost thing is you really don't generate a lot of coin. Would need to discard like eight cards with your mills. Need four mills to hit eight. Maybe that's doable. Let's open Gladiator Mill and see how it goes. He does the same. Go the lady, the state, and get a mill on top. This is a nice draw. Um, let's hope he has the goat in this hand. Yep. So we can block and he can block us. So that went pretty nice for us. He does go for the tactician, okay. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's worth it uh, to get the outpost turns. Like, Like you start your regular tactician turn, got a 10 card hand, um, if you discard 4 times with mill, 
that nets you 8 coins, but then you only have 2 cards left, so you can't like play outpost and play tactician. Um, I don't know, I'm not convinced by it. Um, I think I'm just gonna play something straight up money ish. Um, yeah. Just another mill, I guess. I don't know. What I'm doing here does not inspire me all that much. Here we can buy another gold. So yeah, he gets his outpost, outpost turn here. Let's see if it works. Um, let's see if we can make it work. Certainly nice to have these extra turns now. Don't discard here. I'll buy another gold here. And this will be gold again. Yeah, he's playing the more fancy thing. I'm excited to see if he can make it work. I wasn't feeling like it. Let's hope we get to buy a fortune soon. Like, um, if he draw gold, he doesn't have one, right? So that should help us uncover fortune and also help, uh, help us get the coin to buy it. I guess another source of income can be pixies. Um, but that's not really reliable at all. So does he get the fortune here? I mean he can't really... I mean he's playing two, ta two tacticians, right? So treasure payload is awkward for him. Somehow like, the last three games have just been money single province, province ish. Don't like that all too much, but can you do? Yeah, he doesn't have a gold, so. Can, I mean, it's uncovered already, but can buy the fortune here. Uh, we wanna, re we wanna, don't wanna change Ling. I guess um, we can get a tragic hero at some point now. One or two. Yeah, 
Yeah, all right. <laughs> you can. Well, we have no way to pop them. You could pop them into fortunes if you play with tactician, but then you don't. We want the fortunes. Maybe one of my like uh, this turn seven by could have been a tragic hero. Maybe didn't really think enough there. I mean, this outpost stuff also does help him. Get really trashed, crashed down. I guess on the outpost tactician turn can hit eight and play tactician by playing gladiator and discarding enough with mills. So this might just work out fine what he's doing here. Or just discard four times with mills and play the tactician. It's alright if you buy like one province every two two turns if you have double the double the turns that your opponent has. Um, yeah, so looks like it, um, looks like this is gonna work out nicely. I think. Five would have been nice here. Um, this can be a pixie, I guess. That's a nice boon. Yeah, that way he can buy a province on this turn and play the Ostpost Tactician. So doing the fancy thing paid off here. Guess we can design this one soon. Yeah, I mean, this is like over, right? Even if he misses here. Um, let's play this turn and 
see what it what it brings us. I'm missing here. Does make me. Uh, it doesn't really make me hopeful, but it's something. Gets a tragic hero here. Um, yeah, this is just. This is resignable. Okay, we're back at 2 and 2. We'll be starting the fifth game. Should have gone for that thing as well. Um, didn't give it enough credit. Oh, we get to open recruiter. That is nice. So, it's gonna be recruiters, uh, grand markets, villagers also give you the, the option to play tormentors and gain imps with them, which is something we wanna do, I think, because it's the only real draw on this board. So, it's open recruiter. Nothing. Um, you could also make an argument for opening like Tormentor, but um, the sooner you have the recruiter, the better, I would say. Um, this will be sewers, I think. It's a bit sad that the recruiter misses here, but oh, well. You know what I mean. Um, I think we want a militia as well. And here a silver. Uh, he also gets his recruiter now. Or trash copper. So I think Tormentor now. These imps should be pretty nice. Could also be a gold. Um, could also be a forum, but we're getting pretty thin. Um, I think the Tormentor is nice to gain imps. These three copper to estate draws are not really what I want, but um, we'll buy another silver, I guess. And here we can gain an imp. Let's hope we will we do not get militia here. That's good. Nice we can recruit the estate. Yeah that was a that was a good draw. Top deck uh grand market. There's also Villa, should we require actions at some point and not have villagers. Um, 
Better grand market first, I guess. Recruiter now. That's a good draw. Tormentor and another grand market. Yeah, so this is looking good. Um, we are ahead at this point, certainly. One villagers, right? So we trash one the silver. I mean, for now we could do. We need two villagers now. Oh, he does resign. Okay. Yeah, we were pretty far. Well, not sure about. We were definitely ahead there. I wouldn't have resigned at that point, but it's a fair resign. Okay, we are up 3-2. If we can manage to win this one, we go on to the next round. Otherwise, we get a game 7. So, what is this? You catapult. You can also priest. You can do stuff with golem, I guess. Yeah, you want to build like a golem thing. Um, the only way to get actions right. So we open catapult and maybe priest. Goes for the double catapult. I guess the double attack um, does hurt. And the priest, I mean, would be nice for trashing estates and maybe hit him, hitting five, but that's not really happening when you're attacked by two catapults, right? So maybe we go for the double catapult as well. Here is silver. Hope to hit a sculptor. Oh, the golden sombrero. Um, I guess it's alright on this board. Mm. Priest. No. That all catapults sombrero. Here we can at least buy a two. Um, a pawn. Uh, let's hope he does not catapult us here. Would really love to buy a sculptor. Nice. And that sculptor can gain us the potion. And it will also come with a villager, so. I will be really happy to gain a potion with the sculptor. Um, do we want to draw here? Could also be like action buy and buy more of this cheap stuff. Second sculptor would also be nice. So it could be action coin and then we are Oh no, I can't count, right? Uh, uh. No, that's fine. Let's go action coin. We don't want to draw into one of these terminals. No. Okay. 
Oh, he... Oh, well, I guess he didn't have enough for a golem. Here, discard like this, so we can attack him again. By a pawn. So, we can, I mean, gaining potion, we could gain potion here, but we won't have enough for a golem. Um, guess we gain it anyway, because we want it. And then buy like a pawn. Mm, this is not ideal. Guess we do discard the potion here. Um, yeah, some vagrants could also be nice. We've got Curses in our deck now and stuff. Okay, so here we can buy a potion, um, sculpture a potion, buy a golem. And I guess we even wanna um, attack him. Later we want bridges, I think, in our deck. Not just now. So I guess sculptor silver here, just to trash it. Uh, we wanna give him curses as well. Does the sculpture a potion, but it makes no difference. We've got a golem in our deck, and he doesn't have one yet, so that's pretty nice for us. Uh, if we don't get attacked here, we can buy a second golem. And we do get attacked. Um, let's discard the potion. We won't be able to buy a golem this turn. <clears throat> this turn we... let's keep... Well, actually, no, I don't want to fall behind in the trashing. Let's keep the catapult. I mean... Not sure if this is right. Yeah, well, I guess we do this again. There's our golem. This way. Um, there's a potion on top. So let's sculpture a silver here. 
increased on top. Let's draw it up. And then we can trash the estate and attack again by a golem. So curses and vagrants are getting low. Um, there's no third pile that's low right now. So, but it's something we have to keep our eye on. I guess pawns could run rather quickly. There's a potion. Uh, yeah, let's trash it to curse him. By this background. He's got three sculptors, so we really, we do need to keep our eye on the pawns. Wanna buy a province at some point. We do have two golems in our deck to his zero, so that's something I feel good about. Goes for the cursed trash here. So doesn't attack us, which is nice. Um, yeah, let's play a golem. Um, one vagrant blew a curse. That that is nice. There's a sculptor, which we want to draw. Mm, so we wanna sculptor a silver, I think. Buy a Dutch here. Wait a second. Sculpturing a priest would let us sculpturing. Yeah, that was. Um, and yeah, I mean, sculpturing a priest, and also that was just miscalculation all around from me. Um, let's attack him and buy a duchy. Let's see what we can draw into here. There's a golem down there. Um, do we want to buy a pawn? Maybe just the silver. Goes for these rocks. Um, I guess they come with silvers.
So that's pretty nice. So I think we wanna do it like this. Scatter a silver. Could also be a rocks, but then we are at risk of being piled out. If we gain a rocks here, um, it will come with a silver into our hand. Um, then we'll have two silvers, rocks, copper, priest. Then when we trash it, we get another silver. So he also. So we can hit province here, right? We gain this, gain a silver, it's not our buy phase, so put it in our hand, we trash it, we also put it in our hand. Yeah. And this way we can buy province. <clears throat> um, card coin, I guess. Yep, I touch you. There's a golem down here. Let's hope we draw it. Oh, does he have a win here? I think he does, yeah. Okay, so we are into game seven. Um, random start. Let's see what we can do. He does start this one, so a tie will be enough for us. This is quite something. There's wild hunt stuff you can do. Wild hunt stuff you can do, and you wanna do. What do we open? Um, maybe Amulet Pixie. Don't know if you want an exorcist um, because goat can take care of the estates and there's also haunted woods um, so you might also not be you might also not be able to always play it. Hmm.
I mean, go ghost is nice for sure, but we need to get get it first. So I think amulet, and then we can save and buy a pixie. Could also star chart, but save pixie. I like it. It was for the star chart. Mm. Actually, let's do it as well. Top, de top decking the amulet is pretty nice. So our next hand will have uh, two estates, two coppers and a goat. So we can get rid of our last two estates. Um, so what do we do? Um, so what do we want to do with this? Could also buy like Pixie. Oh. So I guess we want like workers' villages and also mix in some fool's golds um, to get iconic economy quick when. And we're thin. Mm. Think just trash here. Um, buy a pixie. Yeah, he he goes. Um, he does the fool's gold thing as well. It's a nice way here to build your economy quickly. Build up your economy. Let's get another pixie. Um, top deck pixie, I guess. Now we ideally want to buy a worker's village, so we can go for the fool's golds. Um, let's keep that. So we take a coin here, crash with the gold and take a worker's village. We want to top deck this worker's village. I think we want to trash again with amulet here. Um, we want to buy like two fool's golds. Um, 
depending on the boons. Um, we might get more. Um, yeah, sure, that's nice. Um, so do we take fool's golds with this? I think so, all right. This one we keep. Well, actually, now we can buy two more fools' golds that way. Then we'll have four. I think that's enough. I think we want the workers' village on top. Now we can buy a wild hand as well. Um, that was a nice turn for us. Um, I think we're a bit more trash than he is, which is also good. But um, this is definitely uh, definitely not a board that. I particularly like being second player on. Nothing you can do though. Yeah, he's well. We're not really that much more trashed, right? He's got like two coppers left. Oh. So let's take a coin here. Go wild hand. Oh. Pixie. Put the, the workers village on top. Takes the points off here. It's fine, I guess, but not a huge deal. This is a bigger deal. Uh, way bigger than the other thing. Goes for triple fools gold there. I think I like to see that. Uh, this I do not like so much. Um, I think we can keep that copper for now. Can put the workers village on top here. Buy like wild hunt pixie. Can be a bit greedy here. We need to be, I think. Because we are behind. Yeah, I hope this that this triple fool's gold buy gives us some way back into the game by making him dud. Uh, that would be my hope at the moment. Yeah, and does seem like that's the case here. Doesn't have a full turn, but well, anyway, he gets to buy Wild Hunt Workers Village, and that's good enough. Let's keep that. Um. 
data here, trash. We can save by Wild Hunt Workers Village. He's gonna get the points here again. Yeah, this is this is not looking great at all. Um, but after the last game seven that we played in this tournament, I believe everything to be possible. Oh, that was a careless click. So, he's got two workers' villages, he's got four, so he's got five buys. Um, he's got a points lead. I um, guess we're pretty much screwed here. So, how much money can we make? Let's trash the gold. Um, sure, I guess. Can we draw it back up? Like if the workers village down there bottom decks, we can't. If it does not bottom deck, we can draw it. That's also nice actually, but Doubt, it, doubt it's gonna help us much here. So we gotta take points here, I think. Double province. I mean. I mean, if we double, we take a points lead, but yeah, I think we just gotta do it. If we buy any of these, he is probably just gonna um, pile out. Put the workers' village on top. Have to hope it does. He's uh, got more draw and more villages in his deck. Also more pain load, so just a better deck all around. But he does indeed that here. Let's see what he buys. Province Wild Hunt. Might be. I 
Let's touch here. This this does draw. Yeah, it does. This was has been that has been a pretty nice boon. Let's take the points here. I guess we double again. Or maybe. But then he's probably just gonna double for the win. So let's not do that. Because what did he have last turn? Locus Village Wild Hunt, he did save something. So he should be able to, to go off this turn. What else can we do? We could like save the amulet, um, buy a worker's village. And then what? Then if he like doubles, what do we do? He won't that again this turn, yes. Workers villages and um, wild hunts in here. So we really should not buy this. The second province. Could also save amulet by Dutchie by Pixie. I mean third workers village would be nice, but we also need points. We just have to hope to draw well. And hope for him to not draw well. So let's see what he's got in hand here. Might be tempted to like save a wild hunt here. Oh. Then he can start chart a worker's village next turn. So I mean, it's pretty hard for him to do that anyway, right? He's got five wild hunts. He does not save one. He's got 22 in payload. Oh, there's a pileout. All right. GG 
and congratulations to Sam E for making it to the round of 16. It was a rather quick match. Um, thank you everybody for listening. Um, see you next year, I guess, and see you also in the Dominion League, which will start again um, next week. Bye, everybody.